Holy shit, man! Holy shit! Hold on, I'm coming! Dude, I think these guys want to eat us! You okay? One of those psychos tried to bite me, but yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Well, we can't just stay out here in the open, that's for damn sure. Ranger station. Maybe we can find some help there. No, oh, man, we've gone two weeks and what? Everybody takes up cannibalism? Beats me. So this is State of Decay, a game that is out on Xbox Live Arcade. And it's pretty fun. I definitely recommend it. It's an open world zombie survival RPG, if that's your kind of thing. Yeah. Stay low and keep quiet. Maybe we can get past them without being spotted. The game is dropping us in the middle of the action. We are playing as Marcus, who, along with our friend Ed, went on a fishing trip by the lake. And this game has a bunch of neat features, I think. You can play as a bunch of different characters. You can't play as every survivor you come across, which is kind of unfortunate, because there are some pretty awesome characters later on that, that would be pretty great to play as. But, oh well. Uh, there is also permadeath, so if the character you're playing as dies, then that's it. The character is just gone. Help me move this against the wall. We need to clear a space for the wounded. Wendell? Man, can anybody tell me what the hell is going on? What's going on is there's more of them up here than I expected. We need to sweep the rest of the cabins for survivors. I've got injured people here I have to tend to. Okay, we'll see what we can do. We will? I appreciate it. There's a water tower out back that has a good view of the campgrounds. Might be worth your while to climb up there and have a look around first. We've got some supplies in the locker over there. Take what you need and stay safe out there. So we have our first objectives to check out the cabins and water tower. But first, let's maybe make the rounds, say hello to everybody, introduce ourselves. It's important to be sociable. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, why would you say that, Ed? Is it because I'm black? Is that you, what you think I'd want to hear? Let's just say hi, like a normal person. Sorry, can't really talk right now. Good to see you. Hmm, can't talk right now. Too busy waving at the window. Okay. And Wendell seems to be injured. He's clutching his side. I think he probably just has bad gas. There's, he's just got stomach cramps, I'm sure. So we'll just leave him. He'll he'll be fine. You can also perform emotes in this game to other characters, although it doesn't really do anything. Asshole. They don't really react, as you can see. Nice. I think Ed is just taking it because of that racist comment earlier. He's just embarrassed. You know what worries me? They're setting up an infirmary in there. Hospital or something. I don't know, man. Whole situation is pretty messed up. What's next? Razor wire? Guard towers? That's not a bad idea, actually. We need to make things safer around here. And as this tip is suggesting, there are stealthy ways to kill zombies. Which can be helpful if you're trying to pick them off one at a time and maybe clear out an area without getting noticed. But here we are at the cabins to hopefully find some supplies. I want this to be a lesson to you. Always check your corners, dude. You need to learn from my mistakes. So he took a chunk out of our shoulder, but I'm confident that we'll find some good supply. Oh, it's just Twinkies. Yeah, well, that wasn't really worth it. Getting uh, bitten by zombies doesn't actually... I mean, it lowers your health, but it doesn't, like, get you infected or anything. There's no real risk of turning into a zombie. So, having some door trouble. I to try and leave, and there we go. <coughs> uh -huh. 
once you clear out an area of zombies, it'll have this white ring around it. You'll see in the minimap, the one we just left has that ring, and that's just basically a safe zone, or an alleged safe zone. There shouldn't be any zombies in there. And kind of just bonked Ed on his head with my stick, but that's okay. Um, well, today went downhill fast. No oh, shit. Any chance we can just hole up here with the last of the tequila until this all blows over? Somehow I doubt it. Yeah, me too. Well, hey, we have our first weapon, a rusty machete. Or I guess the stick is kind of a weapon too, but that doesn't really count. And you'll notice that it's actually damaged. The stick is yellow, which means that it is uh, kind of close to breaking. Weapons in this game have a set durability, so if you keep using them, they'll break after a while. Although there is a way to set up weapon repair stations to uh, just fix them up and keep using them. And Ed is just having bad luck today. I can't, that's, that's his fault. Uh, I hit him with a stick earlier, and I think there's, there's really no way I didn't hit him with my machete just then. He's not going to bring it up. He's still a little embarrassed about that yo-yo-yo comment earlier. All quiet here. Listen, asshole! All right, we, we don't want any trouble. Thanks, Ed. That's really helpful. Let's just scream okay. when there are all these zombies nearby. All fine here. Right. Let's get the hell back to the ring. You hear that? <laughs> yeah. I guess we're not the only ones having a bad day. Okay, Ed, you clearly just hit me. You weren't even aiming for the zombie with that one. All quiet here. But whatever. So when you're searching for items, you can search at a normal speed, which is pretty slow, but it doesn't make any noise. Or you can speed up the process by holding down the left bumper, uh, which is considerably faster, but it also runs the risk of alerting zombies. I'm lucky they didn't hear that. So rummaging around for those Twinkies made a, a hell of a lot of noise, but there were thankfully no zombies nearby. And sometimes it'll make a lot of noise and have a lot of zombies just descend upon you, so you really want to be careful. We can check out the gunshots we heard, but since we're right by the water tower, we might as well scout that out first. On the bottom left, the red bar is health, obviously, and the blue bar is stamina, so as you sprint and jump and attack, it will temporarily drain I I stamina view from up there. and you can eat snack items like the Twinkies I've been picking up to recover stamina or you can just wait for it to go up on its own I'm there gonna take a look around oh a vehicle that sounds like something that would be very helpful in a zombie apocalypse I think So, survey points like this just basically help you find potential areas of interest in your general location. They're not super necessary, like you can discover stuff by just wandering around, but I guess it just kind of speeds up the process. I think I've seen enough for now. Ed, you're kind of in the way. You're, you're literally right on top of the ladder, buddy. Yeah, it'll be fine. I missed the other ladder, took a little bit of damage there, but that's okay. Let's see if Ed will follow suit, or no, he's gonna take both ladders down like a good boy. Well, fine, way to rub it in. I thought they were gonna be right next to each other, just cut me some slack, man. Whoa, listen, asshole! Uh, we, we don't want any trouble. 
Ned, stop saying that, please. Just, you're... Stop trying to reason with zombies. It's not gonna work. Anyway, I actually found a gun when I was exploring these campgrounds. I'm not super thrilled with just how the gun fighting in this game works, but I'll get into that uh, in a little bit. Right now, I'm just trying to find a way off this cliff without hurting myself too badly. And eventually, I kind of find a spot. Remember, kids, tuck and roll. I don't know how Ed gets down. For the life of me, I don't understand it. He just... He's there. So fine. Whatever. Always gotta show me up. Colton? Strand? As I said, shooting in this game, at least in my opinion, kind of leaves a little to be desired. I don't do too badly at this part here. Uh, you want to aim for the heads with zombies, obviously. But, uh, I don't know. It's not really an auto-aim, like a lock-on problem, but kind of, like, you'll see it in later videos. When you're aiming for heads, it'll kind of, like, jerk around when you sort of get near the head area. It's a little weird. Holy shit, are you okay? You mean aside from being lost in the woods, attacked by psychopaths, and watching two of my best friends die? Yeah, I'm Peachy. Sorry I asked. So, is it this bad everywhere? Man, I hope not. We got some survivors back at the ranger station that seem to know what's going on, but we didn't have time for orientation. Well then, let's get the hell back there. You wanna take point, or should I? Where'd you come from, anyways? Me and a couple guys from the unit came up here to do some deer hunting. Are you in the army? You don't miss much, do you? Anyway, we were on our way back when these psychos rushed us out of goddamn nowhere. What happened? You see me? You see Coltner Strand? Do the math. Good stuff, man. Wait, no, I didn't mean to say that your friend's dying is good stuff. I just wanted to cheer you on for being a good sport about it. Oh boy, that was really insensitive. Maybe let's just switch to Maya while we have the chance. So yeah, Maya is another character you can play as. And I'm just showing off the map here. It's pretty big. And we're basically done with this lake area here. You'll notice that once you're done exploring and gathering resources from a location, it'll have an X through it and say there's nothing left. I briefly consider shooting this zombie, but he's not worth the bullet. Go on and tell your friends that we're coming for you. She also has an axe, and she comes with her own equipment every character you can play as will uh, just have their own their own set of weapons with them. You can switch off, like you can give... I could give her the machete if I wanted to, but Marcus's machete is actually pretty busted at the moment. Anyway, home sweet home, right? What the hell? I thought you said you had survivors holed up in here. They were fine just a minute ago. Well, obviously not anymore. Guys, guys, come on. We gotta at least check the place. Somebody might have survived. <sighs> He's gone. Yeah. Poor bastard. Well, let's see if he's got a wallet on him or something. What the hell, Ed? To check his ID, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Shit! Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Help me! <laughs> that guy was dead. I swear to God, that guy, he was dead. How the hell does that happen? I don't know, man. Doesn't make sense. We can't stay here. Come on, let's grab what we can and get moving. 
Ed, I'm sorry, but this is the only way. God damn it, Ed, don't pull a matrix and dodge the bullet. Ugh. You're the worst. Well, fine, don't come crying to me when you turn into a zombie. Maybe let's just taunt him for good measure, for getting bitten, and we're done. So the supply locker is just a place where you can deposit or withdraw items, and just generally swap items from one character to the other. So, what about you two? What are you doing up here? Romantic getaway? Fishing trip. Sort of our annual get out of the rat race and decompress ritual. Also, our get hit on by hot bait shop clerks ritual. She wasn't that hot, Ed. No, don't listen to him. He's just jealous. She had a mustache. It was, it was just a little one. I don't know. I guess we just head to town and try to find somebody. Yeah, or... Or... Jesus, Ed, why did you do that? I don't know, I figured if you can't see somebody on the other end. So you robbed a dead guy, and you expect his friends to help us out? Dad? Dad, are you there? medical attention. Can you help us? Can you make it down to Spencer's Mill? Some of us are holed up at the church. If your friend doesn't look too dicey, we'll let you in. The church in Spencer's Mill. We're on our way. We'll, uh, try not to look too dicey. Well, listen, asshole! All right, we, we don't want any trouble. God damn it, Ed. Don't call Lily an asshole. Her dad just died. During that conversation, you might have noticed it said we picked up some truck keys, which goes to this vehicle. Um, I had actually tried to do stuff with the truck beforehand, but I couldn't. And so let's just uh, take a joyride, I suppose. Looks like we're gonna have to jump! Well, that didn't quite work out as I had intended. Oh man, it's a lot of crazy. First, I was confused because I thought that car was the one we had been driving, but uh, no, it was. It's still up there. Just uh, the truck is still flipped on the other end of the bridge. So, uh, Ed, you have the radio. You can call Lily up and tell her that her car. It's okay. Um, maybe just like get a tow truck, and and we can. Uh, Maybe just don't mention the car at all. Um, yeah, let's not do that. What's interesting is that I think the explosion actually attracts a lot of zombies to that location and kind of clears the area for us. Like you'll see a bunch of zombies. They're they're booking it. They're excited to get to this explosion. We're headed your way. You said you were holed up in a church. What the hell's happening around here? You haven't heard? Oh, look at him no go. No self-deception up at the lake. Guess you could say we've been out of the loop. All we know is a bunch of crazy people. It started, what, 12, 13 days ago? At first, it was just weird stories on the news. Random maulings, violent incidents at hospitals, black helicopters in the sky. Just strange stuff. I guess they were trying to keep it quiet, but that didn't last too long. People figured it out pretty quick. 
Better deal with this first. Where were we? I guess they were trying to keep it quiet. But that didn't last too long. People figured it out pretty quick. People who die, they don't stay dead. They come back as one of those things. I told you that guy was dead. Seems like the only way to stop them for good is with a shot to the head. Anything else, they just keep coming. Zombies? I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of messed up super virus. Maybe it's radiation from outer space, or black magic, or or the wrath of almighty frickin' God. Your guess is as good as mine. So wait a minute. What's the government's response to all this? Haven't they sent in the National Guard or something? The government? You don't get it. It's been total chaos. At first, they told us just to stay home, lock our doors, and wait for the all-clear. Then the power died. No one ever sounded the all-clear.